Yeah, okay. So um, we're going to go on to uh, Kaylee in Ontario, Canada. Hello, Kaylee. Hey, how's it going? Um, Good. We're, it's going great, thanks. All right, I'm, I have a question. Um, I grew up in a really religious household. I now have a seven-month-old child, and mm -hmm. my father is a minister. And I thought I had gotten through to them before the child was born that he would be raised as a free thinker, and then he'll be able to make a decision on his own. But just recently I had a conversation with my mom who said that I was sending my child to hell. Um, what, a, I, what a loving message, huh? No. I know. Am I supposed yeah. to have provide visits now, like once he gets older? Like, I don't want them indoctrinating him any like I was. I was terrified my whole life that um, I was going to hell because I had bad thoughts in my head. Yeah. Well, I would say that, you know, as the parent, you're the one who decides who gets to see your kid and under what circumstances. Well, I know um, have his grandparents. Yeah, and, and, and that was going to be my second comment, is that, um, you know, I, I was facing the same issue before my father's death, and, and actually, you know, my stepmother is still alive, and she's since remarried, and her husband is also very religious. So we may still face that issue. Um, also, um, the other set of grandparents, uh, they're Catholic, so, you know, there's still this possibility that you send the kid off for a visit, you know, on the summer and during the summer or something like that, and they get taken to church. Mm -hmm. And I think that as long as you uh, raise your child to think for himself and you do as, you know, perhaps what Russell suggested, intersperse the Bible stories with the fairy tales. Mm -hmm. So you get all the fairy tales, and, and then they'll just think of the Bible stories as the really boring fairy tales. <laughs> um, I, I think that, y you know, y y he'll probably be okay. Uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm curious mainly because I'm afraid that he's going to, when he grows up, that he'll doubt that I am, he'll think that I'm wrong and that my grandparents are right, and then there's going to be a big parental uh, issue there, like where he doesn't trust me, anything I say. I don't... Yeah, I, I, you know, I think that's a, a perennial parental fear, is that, yeah. you know, your kid's going to grow up and do something or think something that you don't agree with but I, you know i've i've actually uh thought about this and wondered if the worst thing that could happen is my child grows up to decide he's christian and actually i don't i think the worst thing that my child could decide is that he's anti-intellectual i mean that he grows up sort of not reading, not considering things in a skeptical fashion in general, and I recognize that it's possible for people to be reasonable and Christian and disagree with me. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, I think I would rather have somebody who is smart and thoughtful and rejects atheism than somebody who is atheist and sort of dull. Yeah. Well, that's, that's true. Uh, like, I was, when I was growing up, like, um, I was told that evolution was a theory and, that, and it um, is it is gloriously a theory yeah like i was i was basically creationism was the only way and it was absolute truth and so when i asked questions like why is the grass green my parents would say because god painted it green mm. so <laughs> i've had to pretty much with chlorophyll yeah. <laughs> and uh, i guess it's just it's, it's, it's a thought that terrifies me that my child's going to come back summer after visiting grandma. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was just wondering what your thought about what that was. So. Well, you know what? I, I, I think you're going to do just fine. I, I think as a parent, you really have more influence than anybody else. Yeah. And so, you know, you've got to extend a certain amount of trust to your kid. Uh, All right, thank you. And, and just treat them as a reasonable person. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for calling. Thanks. Great, bye.